Hello, this is Pat Walker, Mission Winners, doing a video overview for everybody on the ETFs. Why do we look at the ETFs? It's not because we like to look at a bunch of charts. It's that leading groups produce leading stocks and leading stocks produce leading groups. By glancing at the ETFs, we have a good overview of areas of strength to possibly buy areas into or areas to avoid. That's why we do this. And we're going to run through these and hopefully this will help you. Commodity, by the way, you can always see the name up here at the top. Commodities, what does this tell us? This is weekly on the left, daily on the right. Stay away from commodities. That helps us. Diamonds are lagging. Okay, and again, you can see it's lagging there. Be careful with the diamonds and the Dow stocks. Autonomous vehicles, electric vehicles, they're lagging. Be cautious with electric vehicles. Dow Jones Internet, now this one's showing a little bit of power. What do you do? You can take FDN and click it on and see what are the top 10 holdings, but it is above the 50-day. There's some power there. This again, daily on the right, weekly on the left. Look into FDN and see if there's some leadership there. And it is above the 50 day. That's good to know. IBD 50, great proxy, the IBD 50 stocks. It's underperforming right now. There's not a lot of power. That's not a criticism of investors daily. No way. The Bill O'Neill and the paper changed my life. But at this point, the IBD 50 is lagging a little bit. Be cautious with this. First trust, uh, Dorsey Wright. Technology related. What does this say? Be careful with technology. Move on here. China is lagging. Gold miners. Oh, look at this showing a little bit of power. Look at that pushing, pushing through the 50 day on a pickup in volume. What does that say? Maybe look into some gold mining stocks. There you go. GLD. Look at this lifting up. What has this been saying? Maybe look into some gold stocks. See how we do this? It was strong when the market was sloppy. Strength guides us to look for pockets of strength in that sector. There you go. Biotechnology, there's nothing good here, folks. Stay away from it. Really, leave it alone. Oil and gas exploration, nothing good there. Technology, another technology ETF. Doesn't look too bad. At least it's above the 50-day, the rising 50-day. This is software related. All right. Medicine, lagging, nothing to do with it. Mid-cap, look at this drop. It literally... It tells you, I'm not going to mess with a lot of mid-cap stocks because they're really underperforming. That's power. It's great to know what to look for, and it's great to know what to avoid. There we go. Right here, that's not so good. Aerospace and defense, leave it alone. Home construction, now that one doesn't look too bad, does it? ITB, I'm not saying buy it, but at least it's above a rising 50-day. Maybe look into some home construction stocks. And look at the weekly. That's not too bad either. There you go. That's why we do this, to see, again, areas of strength and areas to avoid. S&P growth, pretty sloppy here, not a lot of power. Small cap. This is why I do this. In one second, it says, and it has been saying for a while, avoid small cap stocks. That's why we do this, because that's painful. We're not involved with small cap stocks. That's simple. Real estate, nothing good with real estate. Transportation, there's nothing good with transportation. Airlines are grounded right here. There's nothing good. So well, I'm going to find the one airline stock that's doing a good job. Why? Stack the deck in your favor. A major portion of a stock price's movement is related to the industry and or the sector that it's in. That's why we look at the ETFs. Regional banking, avoid. Biotechnology, stay away from it. Mid-cap, lagging, be careful. Oil services, this is why we do this. This has been ugly for a while. You think we've been looking at any energy stocks? No, it's dropping hard. Leave it alone. It has been dropping hard. We've left it alone. Pharmaceuticals, they need drugs. Nothing good there. Software, technology related. At least it's at the 50 day. It's a little bit below it, but that's, you know, software. Okay, tech related. NASDAQ 100, look at this. Above the rising 50 day, QLD. What do they own a lot of? The max list. And yes, we are involved with max list stocks and have been. It's been telling us. NASDAQ 100, outperforming. QQQ, same situation. Retailing, nothing going on there. Retailing's on sale. Okay, I had to say it. Silver's picking up a little bit. A little bit. You see this? What was the other ETF that picked up a little bit, folks? Gold. Silver and gold. See this? I'm not saying buy it here, but there is a theme there, isn't there? To consider steel, stay away from it. Semiconductors, technology related. This doesn't look too bad. Here's the daily, and this is why I have this template designed. I put this together years ago. 
And again, weekly on the left, daily on the right. You've got a clean base here. Look at the weekly. Look at the volume picking up on that. That's good to see, isn't it? SMH, something to take into consideration. What does it need to do? Take out these tops here in a good market, okay? In a good market with volume. There you go. Semiconductors, SMH. Continue on. Spiders are choppy. I'd be careful with the S and uh, the S and P 500. They're not so powerful right now. Solar in one second, and it's been saying it. Stay away from solar stocks. That's power. This is related to Treasuries, right? Interest rate movement, okay, and it spikes up. Interest rates will drop, okay, when things get strange in the financial markets. All right, just for what it's worth. Small cap, stay away from the small cap. Uranium, there's nothing great there. Oil, U.S. oil, it has been saying it, and it's still saying it. Avoid oil, avoid energy. Consumer discretionary, no power. Aerospace and defense, no power. Biotechnology, another biotechnology ETF, no power. Stay away from it. Home builders, there's no power in the home builders. Materials, how do you build houses with materials? See how you connect the dots? And it's been saying, stay away from us. Communication services, maybe some power there. It looks better than most, but also look at this. Good weekly communication services. You could punch up XLC and see what are their top holdings. That would be useful to know, wouldn't it? There we go. That's why we do this in Mission Winners. Systemization. Energy, stay away from it. Financial, stay away from them. Industrial, stay away from them. Technology. Oh, that doesn't look too bad, does it? We just showed a bunch that look pretty sloppy. This doesn't look too bad. What was the other one we saw that looked decent, team? This is for everybody. You know it. Semiconductors, which is technology related. There we go. And yes, we're involved with technology stocks. Here we go. Consumer staples, avoid. Healthcare, avoid. Consumer discretionary. There's nothing great there. Leave it alone. XME, metals and mining? No. And it's been saying that. Oil, oil and gas, exploration, nothing. Retailing, nothing. Software, nothing there. Leave it alone. And back to the top. Where is money going? The NASDAQ. Primarily the big NASDAQ stocks. Okay? And here we go. Apple. Oh, let me think there. Oh, yeah, that is a big NASDAQ stock. You bet. Look at the base that's forming here. By the way, I need to pause and share something. I don't forecast. I get in line with what is. But look at the base. Look at the base on the weekly. Look at the volume pickup on the weekly. You've got a longer cup and a handle right here. It's kind of V-shaped, but you can see these tops. All right. There's a candidate right there. Apple. Continue onwards. Amazon. You see this base down here? Right there, I'll draw it for you. This was on the key list. Pushing through clean and simple tops. And it did it on the pickup in volume. And some VIPs bought it. And they've sold some into strength. There you go. It's that simple. Clean and simple basis. I need to say something. I am not saying this is going to continue going up. We just get in line with what is. It broke out on a good pickup in volume. We'll see what it does. Sold some to guarantee profits. Now we'll watch. Because the market got really rough on Friday. Alibaba, there's nothing great in Alibaba. Leave it alone. Baidu, picked up a little bit here. Okay? But it's still pretty choppy. It's pretty sloppy here. Loot, I mean, it goes up and it drops. It goes up and it drops. It goes up and it drops. I mean, look. Up, down. Up, down hard. Up, down hard. It's loose. Loose charts indicate high investor emotions. Be careful with that. You're not going to see this setup in any chart book saying, this is the setup that you look for to buy. Okay? So just, just be cautious with that. Google. See how this is all loose and choppy? Here's Google. See this base coming across here? And I'll draw it for it. And by the way, don't think your base has to be to the penny. Okay? Something that's easy on the eyes. Oh, it's going sideways. Oh, look, it lifted off to the 50-day. Oh, it picked up in volume. Maybe if it takes out that line, that could be a potential buy. Yeah, we'll have to see. And it does it. And it does it on a pickup in volume. Right there. That was a buy. And people bought it. It was on the key list. There we go. And that's where we're at now. What is it going to do next? I don't know the future. Nobody does. But clean and simple flat basis that everybody can see increases the potential that it's going to go. And isn't that what we want? Stack the deck in our favor? There we go. By the way, VIPs own it. It was on the key list. 
if you don't own it, please don't buy it up here. It's extended. Don't chase extended prices, extended stocks. Goldman Sachs, stay away from it. That's it. There's tremendous power in knowing what to look at and what to avoid. Stay away from it. Okay. MasterCard, lagging, leave it alone. Meta, clean and simple base, going across in here. There was a spot right here. You see it? It's nothing fancy, folks. All right. And then there's another one, lower level one, right? There, going across those tops. We bought some, ran up. We've sold some into strength. Why? Because it was starting to fall. We're going to take some gain. Looking just at the daily chart, no day trading or scalping. Now we'll watch this and see. If this loses this, okay, we'll probably sell the rest. The point is this, clean and simple basis. That's what we look for. And in a crummy market, that was a pretty darn good move. There we go. Continue onward. Microsoft, another one. And you can see the tops right here. And there were tops right there. There it is, lifting off. And it worked. And we own it. We've sold some into strength. There you go. There's nothing here on Netflix. Leave it alone. There's nothing to do with it. Don't, please, oh, this is it. No. Focus on the clean and simple. That's where money is made. There's a short shelf right there. That was a while ago, okay? But right now, there's nothing good with it. Move on. NVIDIA. This is owned down here. See a clean and simple flat base? There you go. You want to see something else really kind of festive? This was on the max list, or the key list. It's a max list stock. Just going across those tops. That's it. It pushes through the tops right there on a pickup in volume. It was on the key list and it was bought. Right in here. And we don't buy up here. We buy it pushing through the line with volume confirmation. And it works. I'm asking all of you. I was an IBD meetup co-leader for years. And these are the things I used to talk about. Focus on simple bases that are easy to see. If you see it and it's easy to see, it increases the potential that other people will see it and increases the potential that they will buy also. And isn't that what they want, what we want? And another very important point, make sure that when it's pushing through the pivot, there's volume coming into it. Volume tells us other people see what we see and they are acting on it. They are buying. No volume, no buy. It's that simple. There we go. This tailed up here and we sold a little bit off. Continue onwards. Tesla had a lower level base right here, okay? Had a small base right in here, okay? Not a lot of power yet. What does this need to do? This needs to push through the 20-day exponential, which is the blue line, and do it with real, on good volume. I do have to stress though, the M in mission winners is the market. Market sloppy, be cautious too, okay? Visa, in one second, there's nothing great there, is there? Got to go back here and do that. There we go. There's Tesla. Dropped just a bit. There's Visa. There's nothing there. Leave it alone. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit like. Maybe hit that subscribe button. We come up with new content nearly every day. Also, check out the videos on the right. YouTube recommends the one on the top, and the bottom one is something we thought you might enjoy. See you next time.